Hello and welcome to Modular in a Week. We are on day five doing envelope generators. And in the last episode, we did an AR, attack release. And today we're going to make an AD AR, switchable between AD and AR. Because a few days after I did the last episode, I did a shorter video where I just discussed the difference between AD and AR and what I thought they were. So I had to find that out uh, and to build uh, an AD to see the difference. And there is a difference and it's a very nice one, which I like. We'll get to that after all the schematics and building and stuff like that. So you have to hang tight for that. Uh, in that small segment, I talked about the Envelope Generator ADAR by Osamu Hoshiyama, which I spent a whole the whole weekend trying to error check and, and get to work. Uh, and I did not manage to do that. It was it's uh, the the schematics is, is from 1999 with a revision on 2003, and still there were a few uh, questions about it, which I couldn't really figure out. And his designs is not for newbies, so which I consider myself B, so that's why uh, I figured yesterday evening, I figured let's just leave that and find something else that is very similar. And I found this one by Phobos, the Moonbase Explorer ADAR. Uh, which is in technically the same. Uh, they're both built around the 555 timer uh, circuit or uh, chip, uh, which many of the ADAR, ADSR, all these things are, uh, because you can use it not only as a timer, but as many other things. So if you look at schematics online, you will find many envelope generators using 555 timers. Uh, so this one worked much better and in just over a, a, an hour, between one and two hours, I got this one working. Uh, and it's switchable between AR and AD with this switch here. And it's not in its final PCB because, or panel, sorry, because, well, I did it yesterday, so. Uh, let's go through how to build this and then we can look at the difference between AD and AR. So let's go. So yesterday I went out and looked for another schematics for an AD. Uh, and as many times before when I search for something SynthDIY related I end up on electromusic.com. Uh, if you haven't been here and you like SynthDIY stuff and synth and music making overall, uh, then I really recommend you visit this forum. It's full of very nice people that really like to share their design, music, and just nice people. Always help you if you have uh, any trouble. Uh, so I found this thread here, envelope generator for a 555 based synth. And a guy called Phobos uh, showed off some of his designs. And so this one here, you had both a trig and a gate input and you had to choose which one you had. And then he also had the, the VCA part of the circuit here. Uh, this is not what I wanted, but down here, is the Moon Base Explorer ADAR. So with a dual switch, you can choose between AR and AD mode, and you have one input that can be either a trig or a gate, and it uses the 555 timer, and it has both an output and an inverted output, and they are both buffered. Uh, using 500k resistors. I didn't have 500k, so I used one meg and that 
worked fine. I guess just the the attack and decay times are longer, I guess. So this looks like a pretty simple circuit, straightforward. And if we look at the part count, it is not that high at all. It's 25 components. And just under $5 for this ADAR circuit. I should mention that I am going to look at one more modification of this and that is to add an LED in the same way that I did on the uh, VCLFO by adding the uh, a similar circuit or the circuit from the simple LFO that we did in 4.1 I believe. Uh, so adding that might add uh, one dollar more about. And I think this is an intermediate build. It wasn't fully straightforward. I had to think extra a few times. And then we get to the panel, uh, which I haven't tried yet. So this is a work in progress. I, I'm going to order it as soon as I am done here. Phobos ADAR. This is for the LED if I choose to use it. And that is why I had to move the switch down here and and do it from side to side instead of up down uh, the throw of the switch. Uh, so you can do as you want as you want. Just move these two to up and down if you prefer that way and remove the LED. I like to have a LED just to see that the where the and how the slope of the ADAR works. All right, so let's just sit down and build this one. I begin by adding the socket for the 555 timer and then I build around that. Uh, I put it quite far up to the top because when I did the other one, the Osamu Hoshiyama's design, I put it smack in the middle and I ended up being really crowded on one side and, and not so much on the other one. And the same thing here, I tend to move in quite linearly downwards. So the LM358 is just on the last row of the PCB. And it did get quite crowded down there and some components hanging down <laughs> below the LM358 as well. But there is some space in between instead. So that is where I might add my LED buffer. And when I connected it, it worked immediately from di directly when I plugged it in. So. That it, it's not often that happens, usually you miss one or two connection points. But uh, in this one, I instead of just crossing out the components, I crossed out or squiggled out all the lines as I uh, soldered along. So even the connections between all the components is checked from the beginning. So that was a very good thing. All right, so let's plug this in and listen to it. Uh, first, let's start uh, in uh, last episode's dual AR. So I've connected the gate from a uh, beat step into gate in and CV, CV out into the vectoral VCA. The CV out from the beat step goes into the quadrature oscillator for from episode 1.3, I believe. Uh, playing the saw wave out uh, through the vectoral VCA and into the mixer. So if we play now, this is the AR. So if I press the button and keep it, keep holding it, it w uh, it's it's in the sustain mode. And when I release the button. It goes down. So 
th this is what I talked about in that small episode. So when I do a really short press with a long attack and release, you don't hear anything. So let's go into the AD instead, which is in AD mode. So now, even if I press really short, you still get the full envelope. So with a long attack, it takes time, but it will get there and and if you press two times it doesn't reset so you see it there it fades out and then comes a new one after that so if we so a really short one I, I find AD are very good for short sounds because no matter how small trigger you, you get you still get the sound so so in a sequence, the A, D is good that way. And if we turn up the A, then it goes, then it becomes very late. And of course you also have AR in this one. So, yeah. an interesting effect I don't know I'm guessing this has something to do with the power of it that it actually wobbles the signal from the uh, oscillator a bit sounds a bit uh, equinox by jar in AR mode. So that's it for this episode. I hope I can manage to make one more envelope generator. Uh, also Christmas is nearing with big steps uh, so it might be uh, a bit difficult to get some uh, projects up in the coming weeks. We'll see. Maybe it's a lot of work this Christmas or it's a lot of free time to mess about in the studio. Hopefully the latter. Uh, I hope you like this. Uh, please check out my Patreon if you want to support me or check out some of the material that is only put up there. It is usually open after a few days so there is a few tidbits there as well. Press the like button if you did like this uh, 
and uh, make sure you subscribe and press the bell button and all that and i'll see you in the next episode take care bye